Right, so we're on our blue 1.4 Rover 45 and we're going to remove this back wheel and paint it uh, silver as it's painting black and starting to look um, a little bit um, worn and grabby. Uh, we're going to remove the um, brake drum and check the brakes, almost like a sort of pre-MOT check and we're also going to paint the um, outer um, drum as well in red to match uh, some of our other cars. So the wheel's off. Uh, what we do next is uh, normally give it a sharp tap and of course you've also got these two little Phillips screws to remove. Right, so that's the drum off of our uh, back drum brakes. Uh, we give them a little visual inspection and uh, a clean. They're looking okay, so we're just going to clean them. Yeah, so what we use is um, this brake cleaner uh, in the spray can. We get that from either, I think, a bulk lot of about six at a time. Uh, once that's on, we then uh, blow it out to dry, and that just stops any of the dust um, from going too far when you do blow them out and it aids with the, with the cleaning. So yeah, they're looking pretty good and actually we're quite amazed, not too much dust in there either, but it is one of the things we always normally do at least once a year is check these uh, before the MOT, but as I said this time we've got the chance to um, paint the drum which is looking pretty rusty and as I said earlier we're going to paint that wheel and to get that looking better as well. So what we've quickly done is just put the drum back on as it's uh, an ideal holding point or mounting point to just wire brush the rust off before we treat it and then paint it. Of course at the same time as though we're not showing you we are doing the uh, other side uh, and there's the other side. Um, completely unwire brushed and uh, that one we've just wire brushed as you've seen. Right, so after cleaning the drums we've now put a rush treatment on uh, this is the rush treatment we use it's like kind of a sort of a, a milky column when you put it on um, any areas of rust that are still left of course we wire brush them first um, go like a purpley or um, kind of like a, a black colour in this case uh, we've used lots of different rust um, treatments in the past uh, but this type that works like that seems to work the best for us it's the first time we've used this brand but we've uh, used this type uh, quite a lot uh, the next stage is then to paint them with a uh, heat resistant red caliper um, paint but at the moment we're just waiting for that rust treatment to dry in so also while that rush treatment's drying, we're also going to treat the back uh, plate of the uh, brakes that the drum 
is um, up against and uh, we'll also be painting that as well what we also do and i've got to say that before we put that rush treatment on we use um a panel wipe just to clean off any extra dirt and that really does work very successfully removing any dirt that's left on the surfaces Right, so that's the first coat on the drums of the red uh, heat resistant brake caliper paint. We'll probably at least do one more coat, if not um, possibly three coats on those. It depends how they go and how they're looking. And uh, the next thing to do is to do the back plates uh, on the uh, car. We're going to be painting them black. So whilst we're painting the back plate here, one of the things we did notice is um, this is one of the actual um, road full trials we haven't painted in the wheel art. So we're going to be cleaning that up and painting that. And we've also removed the plastic cover that goes over your fuel pipe and uh, vent pipe. And that is a uh, few of the usual Phillips screws there it is there. And uh, what we have noticed actually is just how rusty the um, fuel pump and vent pump is it's all surface rust lucky enough but uh, it's well worth removing that if you're doing this job and just checking that we're just going to rub it down put a bit of rust stuff on and uh, paint that and hopefully saved it before it did rust through So as you've just seen, we've sprayed the springs here at the back just to tidy them up and we haven't had to do too much masking because we are going on to then paint all under the wheel arch which uh, we haven't done yet on this um, Rover. Uh, then it'll be the case of painting the um, back plates in black and uh, some of the rest of the um, suspension parts as well. Right, so now we've um, painted the springs, all we're now doing is um, repainting under the wheel arches. As I say, this is um, a car we haven't done that before. Um, basically, we use a um, metal hammerite paint. Uh, that seems to go well and last a long time. Though we've used uh, other metal paints before, we seem to find that the hammerite one does last the longest and deals with any little... Um, areas of sort of rust that comes through it, it holds that bay longer. So the majority of the wheel arch is now painted we've still got some painting to do underneath and we've just got the disc or the drum uh, safely stored on the um, wheel and um, what we always do though and i do forget to mention this is we always mark the drum in solid so for instance this is the drum that goes on the driver's side because you want to be putting them back on the right side and we're taking them on and off to paint them clean them and you can easily get them mixed up so it's worth just putting a little marking on the opposite side to this that just tells you you know for example this is the um, drum that goes on the rear driver's side so as you've just seen, the wheel arches are more or less um, now painted and uh, of course as part of this we're going to be painting the um, underneath of the car, a bit like we did on um, our silver 1.6, only we'll be painting this black underneath. Uh, we may do the exhaust and what we've also done, um, which you might see, is we've removed the um, exhaust shield. And as I was just saying, we've removed the exhaust shield, so I thought I'd just come down here to our little bench and uh, show you that. Of course, we'll uh, treat any of the rust and then go on to paint it red, um, once again, a bit like on our 
1.6 where I showed some footage of how we painted the underneath. This is all sure it's got a little bit more rust. We may have to do a little bit of a repair uh, to that. And uh, hopefully I'll show you that process and the underneath all finished and painted with some stages as well to show you the job right the way through from the brakes to the wheel arches to the uh, underneath on our blue 1.445. So we're now ready to paint this exhaust guard. We're probably going to give it some rust treatment. Uh, of course, we've now riveted on the repair, and um, this is because that's a, a mounting point there. So we want to make sure that is strong when it goes back on. You should have seen us um, riveting and uh, doing that um, in an earlier clip. We're going to be painting this with um, heat red paint. So we're just adding the rust treatment before we finish painting. So now the rust treatment has dried, we're just painting the exhaust shield. And what we're actually doing, if I just skew you across there, is we're also painting the exhaust shield off of one of our other cars. So we're kind of making use of the job but um, what we're doing is just following this one but I just thought to show you it's always worth if you can um, before you start painting or taking on job there's one that's identical you can do the two together which is what we're doing here so we're going to get on with painting um, those and uh, probably take perhaps uh, a couple of coats and I'll show you when it's finished. So both coats of heat resistant paint are on the exhaust shield for the back of the car. So that is now finished and ready to go back on. The um, strengthening bracket at the end is um, all fitted so the uh, next stage we'll be showing you is uh, fitting it on and of course painting the underneath of the car so whilst the exhaust shield is down we're uh, painting the exhaust blue and then of course you see the exhaust shield finish that will go back up towards the um, end of the exhaust bit of an awkward job to do but as you see we've made a special little brush that's uh, bent round um, so that it's a little bit easier to get around what we've also done you can see there's no exhaust mountings on the um, mounting point and that's allowed us to lower the exhaust so we can get the paint right up above and on top of the exhaust pipe so as I just showed you, we've moved the rubber mountings off the exhaust uh, towards the middle of the car. We've also removed the rubber mounts here um, where the back silencer box is. And uh, the combination of those I was saying, has allowed us to lower the exhaust so we can then uh, paint it uh, further down in that blue paint. So here is a wide angled shot just to give you a better view of the floor with the paint that is also before we paint the floor in black and fit back the exhaust guard and uh, bring the exhaust back onto its mountings. 
So as well as doing the floor and of course the back, we're also painting the suspension parts here at the front. And it's one of those sort of fiddly jobs where you um, sort of do bits and then realise you've missed other bits. So what we've been doing is coming back sometimes the next day or a day later and just going over it and repainting it. Especially when the paint dries, you especially see bits you've missed and eventually you get round and uh, get it all covered. But it is worthwhile as it um, does improve it and uh, will text it and stop it looking rusty as well. So we're in the process of doing the front at the moment. So we fitted the exhaust shield back now. Um, basically what that meant was um, putting the exhaust shield back up, the bracket has worked well in uh, holding that back up and then it was a case of hooking the exhaust back up on its mountings uh, which is quite a sort of difficult and uh, fiddly job but uh, well worth it as now the exhaust is painted blue and we've got the, the guard hall rebuilt and uh, protected in red paint it's just a case now of us painting the uh, underneath of the floor completely in the uh, black hammerite metal paint so whilst we were preparing and uh, getting ready to paint the underneath we noticed that the engine sump was looking very sort of rusty and grabby so what we're going to do is clean that up and uh, paint that red just to keep the hole underneath of the car looking tidy. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just um, sanding that uh, back, then what we do is put um, probably a little bit of rust treatment on and then uh, paint it red and I'll show you a little bit of that with us painting the underneath next. So we're now on the second coat of the red heat paint on the sump of the engine. So as I was showing you from the underneath, the exhaust is back all hooked up and uh, what we've done is got new rubber mounting brackets as well. We've got the right ones this time, we seem to find them a lot easier on eBay than we have um, before. So now it's all mounted up, new rubber mountings and uh, it's just a case of um, painting the floor. So we're currently painting underneath the car, it's the um, floor space I suppose in between each side of the uh, exhausts as we've done most of the suspension and the um, bottom part of the engine now. It's just a case of uh, doing it, we're painting it in black which is what the uh, original floor was uh, painted in. Uh, it's a black um, metal hammerite paint. Right, so we're just fitting back the plastic liners uh, into the front wheel arches. We're putting them back with um, new little um, black plastic screw clips. And then what we'll use is the black uh, plastic cleaner just to bring them back up um, rather than looking grey like they are at the moment. Of course, all the suspension is uh, painted as well as the wheel arches now. We've also at the back put on the um, new mud flaps, they're the generic ones but we find they fit really well, in some ways slightly better than the uh, originals. Of course we've used those um, hex self tapping screws to uh, fix them. Uh, once again all the plastic is uh, back, the shielding, uh, all the suspension and springs are painted and of course the drums are painted back on. It's just a case uh, very soon in putting the um, newly painted wheels back on. If you'd like to see how we fit the mud flaps there is a specific video we did uh, all about fitting them either the original production ones or the generic ones that are designed to fit um, sort of saloon hatchback cars. So that's the underneath finished with the rest of the car. The sump is now uh, nice and red. All the floor is painted and the uh, exhaust is uh, 
blue and of course the uh, red shield as well just coming up to the side of the car the uh, spray painted wheels are back on with their new wheel nuts and I'll just take you around the other side to see this side finished as well So that's everything completed. We've painted the underneath, the exhaust, the shield, the suspension, the wheels and uh, all the brakes, that's the um, disc brakes at the front and calipers and of course the drum brakes at the back. We've got the um, newly painted wheels and uh, also the new wheel nuts as well. So always don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, find us on Facebook and Twitter as always is not a how-to but just a video to let you see how we do it as always if you need more information don't forget to check manuals and other website videos